everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're doing really great this morning and we'll be talking about what is going on across the Atlantic with focus being on the Caribbean as well as a seismic update on uh, the recent quakes across the Caribbean within the past 12 hours of me recording this video. But I first want to direct your attention to a video I posted on my second channel. So of course, uh, you may know a lot of people are talking about La Nina what this could mean for the hurricane season and uh, i just wanted to break down everything that i could so you can go ahead and check out that video the link is in the pinned comment down below let's get straight into the earthquake updates so we're looking at a map those pins represent where the epicenter of the most recent earthquakes have been so there were a few in and around puerto rico offshore the dominican republic there was one as well as offshore guadalupe in the Lesser Antilles. So that earthquake offshore Guadalupe was estimated to be a magnitude 3.5. And this may have been felt, you know, it wasn't a very deep earthquake either. It was actually shallow. So it may have been felt. The closer it is to the surface, the more likely it is uh, to be felt by people. But uh, the deeper it is, then it would have lost energy and probably wouldn't have been felt. So you may have noticed a brief jolt or so it was last evening. So you can let me know in the comments if you felt that. Puerto Rico, there were three earthquakes and uh, all weaker than magnitude three, which is quite common. There are always earthquakes happening here and there. It's just in uh, Puerto Rico is just located in an active zone. Same thing with Hispaniola, where there was an estimated magnitude 3.7 earthquake. So uh, if you're in the eastern part of the Dominican Republic, you may have felt the shaking or not. Maybe you were sleeping, well, most likely. So yeah, that was a magnitude 3.7. So there have been no major earthquakes in the region for a while now, thankfully. Now let's get on to the weather update. We can see on the infrared satellite imagery that there's that frontal system. Also an area flow pressure associated with it that's lacking convection right now. It's a very close to Bermuda right there. There's another frontal system as well that's moving through the U.S., actually bringing severe weather to some states. So I hope everyone is doing okay who's been affected by it. And then out in the main development region, much is not going on as expected for this time of year. But zooming into the Caribbean here, we can see uh, some cloud cover in the east. And uh, that is likely to result in some additional shower activity as we're going to be heading through today for parts of the Lesser Antilles, especially the Leeward Islands. Elsewhere may not experience too much rain, so let's get on to the rainfall forecast. Here we can see what Euro has to show. So it gets quite colorful in the northeast for areas such as Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Barthelme, uh, Seba, St. Eustatius, St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, Antigua, Barbuda, and also for Guadalupe. So we can see the orange, the yellow, the red shadings there. So overall, maybe up to an inch of rain at maximum within the area today. So again, uh, there is that cloud cover associated with the frontal system that's making its way out. But uh, as we head further south, you can see that significant decrease in rainfall activity expected today. So much rain not expected for the Windward Islands, even for the ABC Islands as well. Maybe a shower passing by, but nothing crazy. For parts of the Guyanas in South America going to uh, Colombia, there could be some substantial rainfall activity today. Over to most of Central America, very little to no rainfall. Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, the offshore islands as well, most of Nicaragua. But toward the Pacific coast of Costa Rica, Panama, there may be some rainfall today. A few showers may loiter by Jamaica, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, Hispaniola, but the Cayman Islands, Cuba, Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, and parts of Florida should remain dry for the most part as we head through today. Looking at the wind forecasts, winds have been kicking up in the northwestern Caribbean and the Gulf, and even for parts of the Bahamas as well. But overall, throughout majority of the region, uh, maybe a little breezy today, but nothing crazy. Those are very strong winds not anticipated. And uh, also, in terms of the Saharan air layer forecast, here we're taking a look at it. We don't see much dust intrusion in the Caribbean right now. There's still a little loitering around in the south and for parts of northern South America as well. But in terms of a very dense plume of dust moving in, that's not happening. And uh, most of it is actually near where it's originating from, which is the Sahara Desert in Africa. 
so very dusty offshore and that is Aiden and the lack of activity we are seeing right now so the atmosphere is very stable and it is the instability that helps to generate thunderstorms but eventually as the african monsoon becomes more active as we head into the next few months we're going to be seeing a whole different picture we're going to be seeing tropical wave after tropical wave and in a conducive environment development but the saharan dust itself may help out in terms of limiting development because it may intrude some of these systems all that dry dusty air may move in and help to dissipate some of those thunderstorms so let's see what is in store for the next couple of weeks and months but that is what is going on guys and going back to what i said earlier i have that link pinned in the comments to my newest video on my second channel again i break down the enso region la nina el nino as well as uh, delve into the, the different variables and how they impact the hurricane season and what is expected so that's it for right now guys i really do hope that you found this video to be very informative but if you have any questions do feel free to leave them in the comments i'll respond when i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise